ferns that they don't winter here so I have to bring them in the house uh, for the winter time and I can use them as house plants but today we're going to transplant them and these will grow in zones 7 to 10 as a hardier fern uh, but I had to bring them in I didn't want to throw them out I thought I could keep these grow them for a while and then in the following season I can bring them back out divide them and you know move them again in the greenhouse you know sell them so what we're going to talk about today this maiden hair fern if provided with the right lighting gets kind of a pink hueish it gets pink hueish uh fronds on it and it doesn't it's not a fast spreading fern but it's just a nice you know growing fern uh smaller in size but what's so great about it is you can move it inside if you want to and you know as you know house plants are good to have all season in your inside so we're just going to plant it today and you know i wanted to, you to to see if you've ever seen the rosy maiden hair ferns a lot of ferns on the market and i'm a real fan of greenery i like a lot of greenery to add to pots to add to beds or you know to bring inside so let's get started on transplanting these into a larger pot and uh, we'll go from there okay the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take them all out of the pots as you can see I started these in March of this year and they got some nice growth it could be a little bigger but these are our slower growing fern that I have found and which is okay with me I don't mind uh, having a little slower these guys will take some you know medium moisture uh, and you know let them dry out just very little in between waterings these are actually pretty damp and they look to be doing pretty good but I have them out in my patio and it's a little cooler out there so I thought well I'll, I'll try to do some transplanting uh, so I can save them and make sure that they they're here for next year okay so there's there's what they kind of look like they're really delicate fern as you can see but very clumpish and full and I really like that about them so we get started here in this bigger pot and we'll just uh, we'll just you know lay them in there I like to keep them up a little higher I don't want to bury them this is a large pot that they'll they'll do well in. They'll have plenty of room to grow. I'm gonna put five in there. Oh, let's see, five or six. I got six here, I believe. And that's it's a good number, five or six. The pot's big enough that and deep enough that it'll be okay. But we'll go ahead and fill that in with some soil now. I'm just using a peat perlite soil. As always, it's what I use. It has good drainage. And it lets it lets it lets them you know the plants dry out a little bit in between watering, which is always a good thing. You don't want to keep things waterlogged um, all the time, but you do you know ferns as you know like a little more moisture. Outside these guys like a little more shade. Inside they can handle a little more sun. Uh, that's always true with most house plants. Uh, they can usually tolerate more. But I have to get a little bit more soil. I'll probably put a show you a picture of the fern, how it looks when it gets uh, the different lighting. There's some, you know, there I got a picture. It's a real pretty pink hue color to it. So this is Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. And if you got any comments, if you've if you've grown these ferns, please comment. If you got any questions on it, please comment. I'd appreciate it. I'll do my best to answer you, and we'll see you on the next video.